What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brennan Dopp and I teach you everything that you need to know about doing print on demand and selling on the Etsy marketplace. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you do not miss out on anything that can help you create the lifestyle that you want by making passive money online. In this video, I will show you how to design mockups on over that will convert and increase sales on your Etsy shop. Let's jump into my computer and get started. I suggest purchasing your mockups off of Etsy. There's so many different options on Etsy. They have great starter bundles that you can do, as well as you can buy individual mockups to get started. So you'll go to etsy.com and then you can search whatever you are selling. So if you're doing a Bella Canvas 3001, you would search Bella Canvas 3001 mockup, or if you're doing a Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt, you would search that. For the sake of this video, uh, I'll just show you what you can do. You can go to Gildan 18,000, mock-up and then you'll look through here you'll see there's so many different options you can do these hanging mock-ups model mock-ups you can do uh, they have flat lays the difference between a flat lay and a model mock-up is this right here so this is your standard flat lay so it's just the shirt or the sweatshirt with a few uh, different things involved in the photo and then there's just a background and then you have the model mock-ups which are really nice it is on a model and so it can showcase exactly what it would look like on a person which i feel sells better price for mock-ups ranges between 99 cents and seven dollars typically for an individual mock-up and then you can buy bundles where you can get like a shop starter bundle and they have everything that you would need to get started so that's another awesome option for you but go ahead and search through Etsy, find the right mock-up that you want, and throughout your designing process, you'll purchase more and more mock-ups uh, just so that your shop looks nice and you have different options. The way these mock-ups work is it's a digital download. So once you purchase your mock-up, you'll instantly have it. You'll download it to your computer, and then you can upload that into Over or whatever design tool that you're using to add your design to it and then upload that to your Etsy shop. Main things that you wanna look for when you're buying a mock-up is one, you wanna make sure the mock-up is really flat. So if it has a lot of wrinkles in it, uh, it's harder to put the design on. Another thing that you wanna watch out for is long hair. If the hair is in the way, it tends to get in the way of the design and it makes it for more work when you're adding your design to the mock-up. So those are two major things, as well as obviously you don't want it to be too busy. You want it to be very subtle and you want to make sure that the focus is on the sweater itself or the shirt itself. We do a mixture of mock-ups. So we have some flat lays as well as we have some hanging ones and then we do some model ones as well. Uh, what we've seen since we've started selling on Etsy, the model mock-ups tend to convert better and that's for us. You may find different for your store. So I suggest experimenting, maybe get one of each and you can see what you feel does best and what you like best for your store. When we first started selling on Etsy, we did have a difficult time finding exactly what we wanted. So we took the initiative ourselves to create our own mockups. And since then, we have started selling them on Etsy as of recently. So feel free to check out our shop. It's Malama Mocks. And of course, there's so many other options as well here on Etsy. And in our shop, Malama Mocks, we do have a few starter bundles to get you up and running on your shop. But go to Etsy.com, check out the different mockups, see what you like best, what fits best for your store. Once you have purchased your mock-up and you have your design ready, then you are set to create the listing photo mock-up on Over. So Over, if you're not familiar with it, they have a web browser version as well as an app. And the app is specifically for iOS, but you can do that on your iPhone or your iPad if you have. If you're an Android user, then go ahead to the web browser. You can do your designing there. So that's web.over.app. If you are not super good at graphic design and you're not familiar with Photoshop, Over is a great alternative. It's super user friendly and really easy to get started with and so many great features that you can use, which I'll be going over today during our designing process. And for the sake of today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create your mock-up on the web browser version of Over. First things first, we will want to set the dimensions here of our canvas size to fit the exact dimensions of the mock-up that we purchased. So the way that we can check that is go over here to image and then click on the plus sign. Then that will take you to your files, find wherever you saved your mockup to. And then here's the mockup that we'll be using. You can just highlight over it. And then down here, we'll say the dimensions. The dimensions of this mockup is 2500 by 2010. So you'll wanna remember that and we will go and change the canvas size and over. 
How we change the canvas size is on the right hand side. You will change the width to 2500 and then the height by 2010 and change it to the exact dimensions that your mock-up is at. Each mock-up that you purchase will have different dimensions and so you'll want to double check that before creating your canvas and before you bring in your mock-up to over. Now that we have our canvas size to fit our mock-up size, we will then bring our mock-up in. So again, go over here to image on the left hand side, click the plus sign, and then bring in the mock-up that you purchased. So go ahead and click open. Now that we have our mock-up in over, we need to bring in the design that we created previously. So again, go to the left hand side, click image, click the plus sign, and then go and find your design wherever you saved it on your computer. So here is mine, then I'll click open. Here we have our design, we wanna make it smaller. So you'll drag the corner, bring it down to whatever size you would like. And then place it wherever you would like on the shirt or sweatshirt mockup. If you need to zoom in to see the design better, you can go here and click on the plus sign down at the bottom. Now that I have the design set where I want it, you want to turn down the opacity of your design so that it looks more realistic. So over here on your right hand side, your toolbar, you'll click opacity, and then you can adjust this to whatever opacity you want. So you don't want it to be turned down too far to where you can't see it or where it's too gray or too black. You want it to be just right so it's not super vibrant and you can see it kind of blends into the fabric. Now you see part of the A is on the pinky and what we will want to do is remove part of that A so that it will look more realistic. The way that we can do that is go over here to the toolbar and we will click mask. Then I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a little better. And you can see you can either remove or add. What we want to do is remove and then with this you can adjust the size of your brush. So was it 32? That makes it bigger. This is all the way 100%. And you can also adjust the strength. So you can go all the way down or wherever you want. I'll leave it at 100%. And I'll turn my brush down. And then we will go in and remove the part of the A that's covering the pinky. If you take too much off, you can then go to add. And again, if you need to adjust the size or the strength, go ahead and do that. And then I will zoom in just a little bit more. Then I'll go over here and I'll lightly add. And that is the basics of the mask tool. Super handy, especially if you buy a mock-up that has hair in the way or hands in the way. This is an easy way to adjust the design so that it looks more realistic. Once you have completed removing whatever you wanted to remove, be sure to click done. And then we will zoom out. It'll click fit and see how it looks. Okay, a little more realistic than how it looked before when it was covering the pinky. I'll zoom in again so you can see. The next tool I am going to show you is the overlay tool. So if you come over here to the toolbar again, at the bottom you'll see blend, and I will show you this overlay tool. I will be using a different mock-up to show you this. The overlay tool only works for lighter colored shirts and sweatshirts, as well as only for white designs. You can't use it on colored designs. Okay, so I'll show you this on sport gray. So if I zoom in here, you can see the hair and the shadow makes this design not look that realistic because you can see the shadow here behind the M. But what's handy with the overlay tool is I'll go down here to blend again and then I'll click overlay. Let me zoom in one more so you can really see. I'll click overlay. That will drop back against the shadow so it looks more real. And I want to bring this over just a smidge and then I will zoom out. But again, if I turn off overlay, see it sits on top, doesn't seem too realistic. And then if I turn it on, it drops below to make it look pretty realistic there for you. And then you can adjust the design however you need after. Now we have our design placed where we want it on our mock-up and it looks pretty good, really easy to do and over. Three other things I want to mention you can do on your mock-up is first, if you're doing just a small design, let's just say on the left side, like a chest pocket graphic, if you want a detailed photo of that because you can only zoom in so far on your Etsy thumbnail, one thing that you can do is crop this image 
where it's really close on that. So just an example really quick. I'll highlight all of this, make sure I get the design and the mock-up itself. Then you can drag this really big until you have it as close as you want for at least one photo in your listing so that the buyer can easily see the graphic for your thumbnail photo. So that's just something to keep in mind. It is really important that your main listing thumbnail is very easy to see. So when the buyer is scrolling through on the search page, they're able to easily see what your design is and it's legible. So that's something to keep in mind. Zoom in on it and crop it so that you can easily see it as well as save your other one so that you can have a wider view of it. Another thing you can do is add the shirt color down here in the bottom corner. That way it's very easy for the buyer to know what exact color that is and then they can correlate it with the drop down menu when they're placing their order. And that has total preference. If that's something you want to do, go ahead and do that. Makes it easier for the buyer. If you don't want to, no problem at all. And another thing I want to mention is you can watermark your mockups before uploading them to Etsy. Sadly, sometimes mockups are stolen. This is a way to make sure that your mockup's safe and no one is able to steal it. One way you can do it is add a graphic and then add that to the mockup. Another way is just real quick, I'll show you, is you can add text here. So whatever your shop name is, shop name. So add your specific shop name and then you can make this bigger. So I'll make it really big, let's say 500. And then you'll wanna make the text white. And then on this, you will turn down the opacity. So go to opacity and then turn it all the way down so it's just extremely faint. And you can see it's barely there. That way no one is able to steal your mock-up because it will have your shop name on it. So those are three things that you can keep in mind uh, while you're doing your mock-ups. And again, these are all total preference. It's not necessary, but it is something you can think about. So now that we have our design ready and we have put it onto the mock-up, we will export this and save it to our computer. In the top right-hand side, you will click Export. You will want to name your file. And then you will go down here to Show Settings, change it to a JPEG for format, and then for quality, make sure it is on Best at 100% and then click export. Now you are ready to upload your new mockup to your shop. To clarify, if you are using the Printful integration, you will add your design file to Printful and push the mockups that they have to your store so that it will be synced with your shop. And then afterwards, you will edit your Etsy listing, delete the Printful mockups, and add the new ones that you created in over. Be sure to check out my entire tutorial on selling on the Etsy marketplace. It'll teach you everything that you need to know to get set up and to make passive money online. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on how to continue to grow your Etsy shop so that you can live the lifestyle that you want. Also, comment down below what you are going to start doing today to take action. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.